So we're back for some more fishing here on Aguas Claras in Early Access. Of course, the map comes out in two days, October 31st. But before then, we still have two new fish species to catch. We have not caught the Andalusian Barbell, nor have we caught the Mirkarp. And we just have to catch a Mirkarp. So that's going to be the main plan. The other thing we have yet to do is go and explore this deepest lake up here in the Northeast. I'm kind of wondering if maybe that's where some of the big carp are, and we know they get really, really big. So we're rigged up with 38 pound braid on our Devil's Advocate rod. We have a whole bunch of bait. We're gonna go see if we can catch one. And as we're literally just here on a brand new map, I'm already looking forward to a potential future edition of a depth finder on these boats. Because as of now, our depth finder is to chuck a lure out and see that we're sitting over 410 feet of water. So I would say plenty of room for a big fish in here. And one of the reasons I think this might be a really good lake for big carp is EW has talked about adding bottom fishing at some point, and I feel like this would be the perfect place for that. So for now, stuck with our flow fishing rig, got a size 4 hook with a red worm on it. We'll try that a little bit, give us a chance at catching other stuff, and then we'll get serious with some carp specific baits. That's an eel though. Interesting. Now this is a size 4 hook, which is decent size for them. And no doubt he's wiggling out over here to go and hit this. So hopefully he's going to be a good one. Hard to tell at 100 feet just how big that might be. And they usually take their time when they hit. Don't want to let him get away in case he is big. But that is so interesting. Gotta imagine as they are nocturnal, probably not a super common catch. It's like 1 p.m. or something in the server. We will take that. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to throw a red worm just in case there was other stuff around. Doesn't look particularly big. Yeah, five and a half pounds ish. We will take it. Never gonna complain about them. They are definitely my favorite on this map right now. Interesting that came and hit though. There's another one. I'm gonna go into the handbook and show they are nocturnal. Now that one does look bigger. So maybe we have a little something there. Decent tension. And just based on the way the metals have kind of gone up from bronze to silver, my guess is 10, 12 pounds is as big as these guys get. So gold is probably eight, somewhere in there. I'd love to catch a gold eel today. 6.04 pounds, still a ways to go, but we'll jump in the handbook real quick. And what I do have one idea as to maybe why this is happening. So we'll go to European eel. You can see they are nocturnal. We go to the traits, night owl, more active at night. Doesn't mean they won't bite in the daylight, but two in a row like that is kind of odd. Now there's a little cave on this map that you can fish in. And because it's completely dark in there, eels hit during the day. And I wonder if because we were in there, if that's caused it, or maybe they just are around here. Okay. <laughs> we're going to have to switch something up. Another one. We'll just go up a couple of hook sizes. Because if we're just going to catch nothing but eels, at least we can try to catch a good one, but good to know? This area may be more loaded than the cave, which I was going to guess the cave was the place to catch big ones. This feels like, at best, another silver. Kind of in that same range, a little under five pounds this time. So let's go, let's see what kind of hooks we actually have. I want to say maybe size two could work for this. So looking like slightly shallower water. At least kind of what we're after. Another eel just surfaced there. I did go back down to a size 4 hook just to see if we could catch one of these guys. Not sure if that's a common carp or a mere carp, but you may have heard there it was taking a little line, and this isn't a big one. They get so much bigger than this, but I'm curious to see which species this is. I kind of thought maybe it looked a little different than the commons we've caught, but really we'll only know when we get it brought in here. You can see trying to dive down, and we're still at 200 feet of depth so it's not like we're in shallow water by any stretch just half as shallow as where we were is that a mere carp i can't tell i think it's actually a common don't see any oh maybe it is a mere carp i think it was just gonna go ahead and bring that in that is a mere carp finally 20 pound silver got it spun around in the sun so you can kind of see that reflection I love the, I guess they're just scales, like going down the sides. They look really, really unique. 
I still can't screenshot. I keep trying to do that. But I'm going to say the common carp get bigger. But even at that, 18 pounds silver, we're probably looking at upwards of 40 for the biggest diamonds. That is really cool. I'm not going to let this completely fool me because the angles always get me when we're zoomed in. That one looks really solid. Hopefully it's as big as it looks. And I want to say, again, probably a mirror carp. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't have that with the last one. A little bit of a stand still there. It's not taken line, but we're not exactly able to just haul it right in. We're going to bring the drag up to like 90%. That's got to be upwards of 20 pounds, maybe upwards of 25. I mean, look at that. 90% drag. And we still are struggling to haul it in. Again, this is 38 pound braid. So our line shouldn't really be at risk here unless he's really big. And based on the tension, we look fine, but... It has to be notably larger than that last one. And we should keep in mind, they do have the hard fighter trait. So compared to maybe fish that don't have that, a lower weight one will be able to put up a decent fight. But even just as we have it in the water there, it sure looks bigger than the last one. That's a mirror carp as well. What are we looking at for this guy? 24.72 pounds. I cannot wait to see... Like, the really huge ones. I mean, they are just going to get massive. We're going to stay right here and keep going with this. Might stick with the size 4 hook, maybe like one or two more catches. And we will go to a more carp-specific bait. We're still throwing out red worms. So let's swap this to... I guess we'll go with cheese. See if we can maybe catch, like I said, one or two more like that. And then we'll just try a bigger hook and see if anything would hit that. Now, that one doesn't look as big. Curious, that's not a... Uh, maybe. It almost looks like a rud. I think it is actually either a mere carp or a common carp. But not a terrible thing that we're going to be able to just basically haul this one straight in. Because I do want to show on the map where we're actually catching these guys in case you're watching this post-release and want to go and give it a try. That is... That might be a crucian carp? No, that is a common just a little guy, 8 pounder. So good to know they're both in here. That is kind of exactly what I wanted out of a spot. And we just had to go all the way up into this northern corner. And I wonder if it's a depth thing. So right around that 200 foot depth is where we're catching all these. And we're just going to keep it going. One more cast with this size hook. We'll try a couple with a big hook if we don't catch a big one here. That's what we're looking to see. Way better than that 8 pounder we just caught. Oh, yeah. Taking line, 40%. See where we stop taking line. Looks like 50, maybe? I like the looks of this. Feeling like maybe in that 25 pound range again. I wouldn't be shocked if it's a little bigger than that. You can see, too, like he's he's gaining depth on us. If you watch the, the yellow number in the bottom right, at least he was. Even though he wasn't really taking line, he was actually coming towards us. And just getting deeper down as a carp would. That is really cool. And look at the tension. This has to be the biggest one we've caught. The 25 pounder? I don't think we ever got into red. I'm going to bring this up to 85% drag. Because we are able, pretty much, to haul him in here. But it is not quite the same as any we've caught thus far. In the 30 feet, there he is. Here, oh boy, okay. Not gonna do that. Is that a common or is that a mirror? I can't quite tell if it's a common. Almost definitely a silver. If it's a mirror, I could see it going gold. We just can't quite tell. I think that is a common. And like I said, I think they're gonna be the ones that get the biggest. So that would kind of align definitely a common. Okay. He is really trying to snap that line. They have another trait, by the way, which is called, I think, Last Stand where they'll basically try one more major time to get off the hook right when they get close. And that's what we're seeing there. Look at the tension on that. That's a nice fish. 27 pounds silver for a common this time. They, they are so cool. So do we go to, I mean, we should try a bigger hook. If we're catching nice fish out of here, we might as well, but we're doing just fine with the size four. That looks pretty darn good too. I like it. Now, this is a size 2 hook. It's the biggest one that we have on us. 
and frankly, I am a very happy angler catching stuff in that 25 pound range over and over again, as opposed to maybe throwing on like a, a 2 watt or something and just looking for a diamond. Eventually we'll get to that, but for now, I just want to try to catch, you know, good sized fish. And I'd say we are effectively doing that. This is a little lower tension. I think there's a chance it's a meerkarp though. Really tough to tell just based on the silhouette, but I kind of thought it had the look of one. Definitely an easier fight, but by no means are we just ripping it straight through the water. I mean, 30 feet away can pump a little bit. It really doesn't do much with them, at least not so far. For the most part, we kind of just have to work the tension, slowly bring them in, and then at the last minute, pump to actually land them. That is a common, so probably going to be 20-ish pounds again, but we will take it for sure. 24 pounds. Not too bad. So yeah, biggest hook we have is still just going to catch like 20 pounders, but we'll take it. Keep on going with it, and I think what's been interesting is all the commons have been on that side. What if we want to ca cast off the back of the boat? And it looks like we're maybe back to a much smaller one. Again, on a size 2 hook, which really shows if you're after the biggest of carp, you probably want at least a one on if not even bigger than that. Interesting, though, that was a different bite. I think this is a meerkarp, so, and that would probably explain the size. So we'll go ahead and bring this in, and then I do want to go after Andalusian Barbell. That is the only new species we haven't caught on this map, and one of the reasons is they're more of a river fish. We haven't done much river fishing at all, so that'll be an opportunity to do something a little different. We go ahead and get that secured. It actually is just a little baby common carp. Not 11 pounds, it's crazy to say that's a small one, but based on what we have seen, they're going to get so much bigger. So I think the first place I look at is probably this river right here. Going to take a little bit of a jeep trip to get there, but won't take too long. Also, just real quick, I know it's a fishing game, so most people probably don't care what anything but the water and the fish look like, but this environment, it really is. I think it's the most detailed map, like just the foliage over here. It looks really nice. Anyway, we're going to grab a jeep and be on our way. Got something on there, that's for sure. Not terrible tension. So this is a size 6 hook with dough. Not a lot of species will hit dough, so I'm kind of thinking it may be our Andalusian barbell. What is that? Oh, I, I had no idea there'd be meerkarp over here. All right, I mean, that gives us an opportunity to go for both. I'm kind of thinking maybe this just isn't the spot for them, though. I was reading everything there is to read in the handbook, and I'm pretty sure the size of the equipment we're using and stuff should be right. I just haven't seen a single Andalusian barbell in here, so as we're pretty quickly moving towards nightfall, I think we're going to try another river and just see if we can maybe get different luck. I think this is maybe a roach. I couldn't quite tell. Could have been a rud as well. They are very similar looking. That is a roach. Just a little one pound bronze, but I think what we'll do is maybe switch it up and go to, I believe I've tried this one at least some. So we might go all the way east. There's something under there that kind of looks like it could be one. So tough to tell. They're pretty small fish. And then when we're casted 90 feet out there, we pretty much have to haul them in and see, but it looks a little more long and slender. I think we got one. Pretty sure that is an Andalusian barbell, a 3.3 pound silver in fact. Like I said, not a huge fish. So that does mean we've caught every fish species on the map. And now we gotta try to at least catch one more of those, because if that's a silver, in theory like what, five, six pounds maybe would be a diamond? And that is gonna be another one. I've always enjoyed the river fishing in these games, and I feel like as far as potentially like the big members of the species that we're after these may be the main ones to catch on rivers we're getting a little bigger there at about four pounds i wish i had a size seven hook i just don't have one on us right now and i'm honestly not sure that size six wouldn't work just as well for four pounders but this is the first time we've caught any and it's on a size eight i think we're gonna keep it up got something under there i never even saw that fish oh no i do see it that seemed a little different, but it kind of looked like a barbell. That's actually a lot of tension, though. So I actually realized we do have a size 7 hook. 
I've got it all. What is that, an eel? No way. River eels. I didn't even know that was going to be a thing. Just didn't expect them to be in here. Good to know that's another species we could potentially catch. I also didn't know they would hit cheese. But I threw the size 7 hook on our other rod just because I didn't want to tear, tear everything apart. And I wanted to leave that one cast it out. Let's try this one more time. There we go. A little something on the size 7 hook. Although I'm going to say it's an eel again. Only because of the way that it interacts with that and the tension that we're getting. Gotta be an eel. That's cool. A couple of places we caught them today I just simply did not expect. But I'm really glad we got to see everything. And carp fishing, and we haven't even scratched the surface, is an absolute blast. I mean, it reminds me of lake trout fishing, but you get to actually see them approach the lure. You get to see, you know, when they strike, you have an idea of maybe what you're about to get on the line. Just the size of them. It makes it so much fun. I do think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. Again, the map comes out October 31st, and I think we'll be back at least one more time before then. Probably specifically targeting carp, but I wanted to make sure we got to catch all of the new fish species here in Early Access, and finally here on the river, we got to cross the last one off the list. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.